Hello and welcome to the SAP uh, Big Byte Academy Online. Uh, Big Byte has teamed up with SAP in Germany to distribute, implement, and use the SAP add-on tools in the United States. These um, add-on tools uh, were developed by Mark Hoppe and his team uh, with SAP in Germany. They are supposed to cover white spots in the SAP standard functionality in ERP as well as in APO. Uh, in, in this session, I'd like to uh, further uh, display and, and show the functionality of the inventory cockpit for inventory optimization and analysis. The SAP add-on tools were developed after listening to customer feedback over many years uh, of SAP implementation and optimization. There is some common problems with the SAP supply chain. There are some white spots in the SAP standard functionality, uh, like, for example, an, a an XYZ um, segmentation according to consumption. Consistency of the past cannot be done with standard tools. There is problems um, around the fact that lead times are considered static in the standard SAP system, but they're really not. Uh, SAP Germany has for that developed a replenishment lead time monitor. Safety stocks and lot sizes are mostly based on guesswork. There is there is a, a safety stock simulator and, lot, and, and uh, a lot size simulator that uh, uh, works with uh, developing perfect lot sizes with the least cost and um, good safety stocks based on an advanced method. There is um, exception and error management, uh, which is extended and goes w way beyond what SAP offers in its standard functionality with an SAP error um, cockpit. There is the MRP monitor that allows for segmentation and automated policy update uh, for, for many materials at, at, at a time. And there is the inventory cockpit that uh, allows for for a analysis and uh, optimization of your inventories all in one transaction, as opposed to the LIS where you have to go to many different transactions and pull data together, often have to copy it into an Excel spreadsheet. The inventory cockpit actually offers a a uh, one-stop shop for for inventory analysis. Uh, with many KPIs that are not available in standard SAP. If you're thinking about optimizing the use of your SAP standard software, BigByte offers package solutions that start with the optimization of your stand of the use of your standard ECC or APO software package. Uh, we're looking at your process and uh, uh, getting the most out of the SAP functionality as it is in the standard. As a second step, we then offer the uh, the SAP consulting solutions, the SAP add-on tools, um, which um, c cover, as mentioned before, the white spots that SAP standard cannot provide. With it comes the ABC XYZ classification, also an EFG for li for for lead time or an an a life cycle classification. With it comes um, um, an automated policy update, uh, replenishment lead time monitor, uh, an, an, an inventory controlling cockpit, and many, many more. And um, as the as third step, we then offer the package solution where we look at the process and how to most efficiently execute the process using standard SAP as well as the uh, SAM consulting solutions, the SAP add-on tools. There's many advantages. There's advantages for the business, of course, with an within optimized process and transparency uh, in the system, better use of it, increasing the competence of your users. But there's also advantages for IT because as soon as you sign up with the SAP add-on tools, you have direct access to uh, SAP in Germany. And if there is any customized solution that you would need, it could be developed right uh, with SAP resources, with SAP capabilities, and completely, of course, integrated into the SAP standard system. Um, every development is done by um, in, within the SAP namespace and uh, is done so that any, any upgrades or anything thereafter is not a problem. 
There is a multitude of cockpits, monitors and simulators that is being offered by SAP Germany and uh, SAP Germany is constantly developing more of those tools um, but they are meant to, to just cover white spots in the standard SAP functionality and not to replicate any existing functionalities. So if you look at the individual cockpits and monitors you will not find anything uh, that's already available in the standard SAP system and for that reason it's very important that you first go through an, an evaluation on how much use you're making of the existing SAP system before you go on uh, to implement these monitors but um, as soon as we got the most out of the existing SAP standard system we can look into these monitors and um, for and, and make sure that uh, we are using the system to its full extent and uh, above and beyond. So let's go right into our demo system and demonstrate the SAP add-on tool inventory controlling cockpit. We're opening up the add-on tools menu and a double click on the SAP LOM forward slash IOC um, menu item will get us right into the inventory cockpits initial screen. We're using a preset variant that fills in all the, um, the necessary inputs on the uh, three tabs of the initial screens of the inventory controlling cockpit. We have now loaded the variant A demo into the initial screens. What you will see in a, in a second is on the tab periods we have selected MRP monitor results from the past. That's what's loading the inventory controlling cockpit. What's important to know here is that the in inventory controlling cockpit will show uh, inventory development over the past uh, 12 months usually but you can do this for six months, 12 months, 18 months, uh, whichever you have run in the MRP monitor. What's, what, what is meant by this is that the MRP monitor res result is run every month and the result of it is saved in, um, in a file that we're going to display in the inventory controlling cockpit. Now if we're looking at 12 months history in the inventory controlling cockpit, we had to save 12 months of uh, MRP monitor results, then we are able to look at it this way. Now whatever was uh, decided to be filtered in the MRP monitor result is being displayed in this file here. However, you can further limit it by using the screen filter here and you can say I only want to see this for a specific MRP controller or for a specific company code, a specific plan and so on and so forth. Then there is the settings tab where we can make some specific um, uh, decisions. We can display the currency in euros or in US dollars. We can um, uh, use an aggregation level for quantity or an aggregation level for value. Um, please note here that if you have uh, more than one unit of measure for um, a portfolio of materials, you might want to click on value based aggregation here because then um, the system doesn't have to display individual lines for each unit of measure. Scrolling further down in the settings tab brings up something really interesting for us to do which is uh, setting a inventory target. The inventory target is going to be displayed in the graphic uh, overlaid over the actual inventory development and it shows us what the inventory should have been on, on average uh, for a portfolio of materials. And the way we figure how the, what the inventory value should have been, we can use the, the formula that's displayed here, which is replenishment lead time multiplied with, with the average consumption per day. Now that's an, an interesting uh, uh, way to define an inventory target because if you think about it, if it takes 10 days to bring any given material back in, and uh, you have an average consumption of, of 10 per day, 
then your inventory target should be at about 100. However, um, we have to make a difference. We also have to put some inventory buffer there, some safety stock, because uh, um, otherwise, uh, if there's something, if there's some variability in the system, then you will run out. That buffer and safety stock uh, should be different for X items as it is for Y or Z items, because the X items are very consistent in their past consumption behavior, and therefore you need less inventory as for the C items. If you look at the the target um, um, replenishment lead time factor, you can uh, identify that for X items you need less safety than you do need for Y and even uh, more for Z items. So that factor is being included in the in the calculation of the um, um, of the target inventory value and can be set uh, customized as you think it uh, would be best. You have also the option to um, set some ranges for, for display. You have some graphics uh, editing options that you can maintain here and some, some up on lower limits for the display of, um, of early warning messages. And then there's the periods tab in which the most uh, important uh, input is the reference key. The reference key comes from the MRP monitor. It comes from the MRP monitor result. Every month that we run the MRP monitor for segmentation and the calculation of some um, KPIs, uh, like dead stock, average inventory, and so on and so forth, uh, every MRP monitor result is saved as a reference key for the inventory cockpit. In that way, you're creating uh, MRP monitor results for every month and you save them all in the same reference key. That reference key you're then using in the inventory optimization cockpit so that you can uh, see the uh, inventory history, the inventory development and various KPIs that belong to it. So here we can see the, the result of the inventory cockpit based on the MRP monitor results that we were saving in the reference key. And uh, we see on the upper left, we can see the segmentation from the MRP monitor um, result. And we can see the, a graphic on the right that displays inventory target value, receipts and consumption and the inventory development over time. We can also set up some the, 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 the individual windows um, in a certain way that uh, we can better see what we are looking at. We can see and view the individual KPIs displayed on the lower right window uh, on various aggregation levels as being defined on the left. Uh, currently, we're looking at the entire plant and its KPIs and values of the KPIs for that plant as a total. But we can also click on ABC XYZ analysis and we'll see um, a different result then. Now we can see the KPI values by class or segment. You see the dead stock for the AX items as a total or you can compare it to the AY items as a total. You can view the KPI values by MRP type. And let's have a look at the various KPIs that are displayed in this layout that we have chosen here. If we wanna see different KPIs, different uh, fields that we wanna display in that layout, we click on change, change layout. And as you can see, there is a large uh, selection of, of KPIs fields out of the Material Master Record, calculated uh, KPIs in the MRP monitor result or in the inventory cockpit, uh, calculated KPIs coming from the material document analysis. Uh, all of this can be customized to, for your own layout. You can move KPIs from the right to the left 
or um, take uh, KPIs from the left out of the current layout, define your own layouts and display um, and, and sort whichever uh, layout you want to see. Now we can perform various sorting and filtering activities as you can see in the following screens. For example, you could filter out all dead stock items with a dead stock of zero or a specific dead stock range. Then we might go to the dashboard view. And here again we get the various aggregation levels. We get the graphic for the inventory development that we can customize later on. Uh, we get the list of KPIs and uh, that uh, can be aggregated whichever way you want to. But there is also an additional graphic to the right that we can customize as well. Now we're aggregating according to MRP type and the graphic to the right changes with it. We can also change the graphic on the right to display instead of a pie chart, a bar chart. Or we can change to a graphic that shows clusters of materials that are within a range of a certain coverage over replenishment lead time. For example, in this um, example here, we have a an average for all the items in in the in the blue bubble. Uh, all the items have approximately 25 days of replenishment lead time. I'm sorry, 25 days of coverage, but uh, a replenishment lead time that's very short of about five days. So these are critical materials where the coverage is going way beyond the replenishment lead time, which uh, results in, in lots of inventories and a big opportunity to reduce those. A double click on said bubble brings up a list of all the materials that are within the range of that coverage with that replenishment lead time. Regular functionality is available again. For example, you can export those lists into a spreadsheet or anything else you would like to. You can change the layout and pull any KPI into the view. And you can interactively change the graphic on top, pull in any KPI you want to see graphically or take uh, any other ones out. Then there is the tab period comparison where for any aggregation level you can display the uh, inventory development over time uh, for certain uh, MRP controllers uh, broken down by ABC, XYZ indicators for the, the planned all together or any other aggregation level. Uh, what you can see here is uh, for all the periods that out of the MRP monitor result that were displayed in the inventory cockpit. You can see all the KPIs, of course, changeable by layout. Again, you can pull in any KPI you want to, and then see the development uh, for each KPI for the individual periods that were drawn into the inventory cockpit.
And lastly, we can go to the tab hit lists, where you can, as the name implies, build your, your own list, your hit list of materials that you want to target for inventory reduction, for any kind of optimization, and so on and so forth. There are uh, six KPIs um, identified uh, for, for each one. A hit list of, uh, in this case, 10 materials is being created. Uh, as you can see on the upper left, there is um, a hit list for stock value, items with the highest stock value on top, and then it displays the first 10 with the highest stock value. Uh, you can customize uh, whether you want to show 10 items or 20 or whichever how many you want in the initial screen of the inventory cockpit. There is also a um, hit list for range of cover, for um, goods received value, for um, For the consumption value, and as we can see later, there is also a dead stock hit list uh, that's further below. We can also uh, use all the, the change layout functionality, the export functionality with those icons on, on top of each screen, and we can display, again, various KPIs in the overview. That pretty much concludes a little demo of our SAP add-on tool inventory cockpit. As uh, mentioned before, the uh, inventory cockpit is fully integrated into the namespace of SAP standard ERP or APO software. Um, there is no need for any integration. Uh, the inventory cockpit comes with uh, SAP transports. That's the way you install it and uh, any upgrades to your existing ERP system will not have any negative impact on uh, or disable the inventory cockpit. It's fully integrated into the SAP software and its biggest advantage probably lies in the fact that uh, everything is accessible in one transaction. As compared to when you do an inventory analysis or optimization with the logistics information system, there you have to go to through a multitude of transactions, pull data out of uh, the SAP system, in some cases put them in spreadsheets, work them around. Um, the, the inventory cockpit does all that in one transaction. It does it based on the MRP monitor result and a material document aggregation, which allows you to calculate many more KPIs that are not available in the standard SAP software. You know how hard it is to get to a good dead stock value and compare it uh, this is much more easier with the inventory controlling co cockpit, and as mentioned before, it's fully integrated in the SAP standard. There will be more uh, videos coming up on the SAP add-on tools in this space. Um, there is also, Mark Hoppe has written a number of SAP press books that you can see here uh, that I can uh, strongly recommend. Um, there is more information on the SAP consulting the website for inventory optimization. There's information on our website from Big Byte Software, and um, I'm continuously writing about these SAP add-on tools and about other aspects of SAP standard and uh, SAP supply chain optimization on my blog. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. Um, here's our contact information. Mark Hoppe and I will be very happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, send us an email, give us a call, drop us a note. Thank you very much. Uh, this concludes the presentation about the SAP add-on tool inventory cockpit.